Cell phone video captured this tense confrontation at a bus stop between a student and a Los Angeles police officer. The incident landed 18-year-old Jeremy Marks in jail, facing a possible seven-year prison sentence. The problem? Marks isn't the boy being pushed and shoved by the police officer. His crime? He was uh, videotaping an officer abusing a 15-year-old child. On that day, Jeremy's only weapon, his cell phone camera. He was one of several students who videotaped the altercation between the campus cop and the young student, but Jeremy had no idea that this simple act would land him in jail for the next eight months. The video shows Mark standing near the officer with his cell phone out. He was arrested a short time later and was stuck in jail because his family could not afford the $155,000 bail set by the judge. A Google engineer who heard of the story stepped in and paid for Marx's bail so he could spend Christmas with his family. Now this is not the first time that someone has faced major legal trouble after capturing a police officer on video. Anthony Graber posted this YouTube video of a Maryland police officer pulling a gun on him. Days later, Graber was arrested and faced up to 16 years in prison for recording a cop. The official charges were violating wiretapping laws and possession of an intercept device. Law enforcement is using laws that are decades old to address technology that has only been around for a few years, leaving people uncertain of when recording becomes a crime. Eventually, the felony charges against Graber were thrown out. Jeremy Marx's mother is hoping felony charges against her son, including the charge of attempted lynching for supposedly shouting kick her ass during the incident, will also be dismissed. The charge of lynching, that was, I, I was just floored by that. Because I, I know what it means to African American people. Marx is not speaking on the advice of his family and attorney. His freedom of expression may be dead anyway in this age of technological advancement. The fact that police departments are cracking down on officers being videotaped is not lost on the West Coast, where the Oscar Grant killing is still fresh in people's minds. Police rarely go on trial for violence committed while on duty, but this video shook the nation and was a key piece of evidence in the trial of the officer who shot an unarmed black man. Even with the video, the officer who pulled the trigger was given what many consider an outrageously lenient sentence. No, it is not fair and that your lives as African Americans can be disrespected, taken from you, and without, any, without just cause and no price to pay. A white police officer who was caught on camera killing a man received a two-year sentence while a young black man faces seven years in prison after videotaping a cop on duty. Perhaps another reason why now, more than ever, there should be more eyes and perhaps more cameras on the police. In Los Angeles, Ramon Galindo, RT.